hey, it's been a while since we've caught up on the E46. We've got a lot of racing in this episode. First, we start out in Dallasport, then we go and we race a PIR. We have some issues with our car and finally we get it back up into an autocross at Hoodoo in the mountain range. Will the car be running at the end of this? Who knows? So this is my first time with the Northwest Autocross Association out in the Dells, Oregon. It was a long drive, about two hours, but it was super worth it. We got a ton of runs, like 20 runs, and it let me really get better as a driver. Need the helmet on before you're in, because it's, uh, it's gonna be tight. Gotcha. Here, I can back up out of grid real quick. In the afternoon, they had some aircraft mechanics walking around asking what autocross was and let them have a seat with me and do a couple runs. It was a lot of fun to share the sport and they seemed to really enjoy it. Just listen to them. Hey, I'm Alan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. No, you're uh, good. Tyler. Good we're, to meet uh, you, man. We're mechanics with the Blackhawk on the inside of the field. Oh, right on. And we were bored, so we figured we'd help drive around and saw this. Oh yeah, you're welcome to ride as much as you want. Um, yeah. Joe is in the red Miata. He is two seconds faster than me, but yeah. Hey, that's fine. I, this is, <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. out at a like right at the right before that hairpin yeah uh, we'll bounce off rev limiter and that's like 57 miles an hour uh, wow. but acceleration is pretty fun though yeah <laughs> that's cool. well it, so like tires are the biggest thing right like that car is basically stock plus tires and yeah. um, like our times are pretty similar this is just a decade older yeah and heavy it's like five six hundred pounds lighter so how like how widespread is this group? Um, like he's brand new and on all seasons. Like tires, tires are huge. So he's brand new and on all seasons. Mm -hmm. So he's like four or five seconds slower. Mm -hmm. And then Joe is on the best autocross tire. These tires are great for track, like they handle heat, um, but they don't like it takes a while to get up to temp, and they don't quite have as much lateral grip, but you sacrifice that for wear. Right. Um. Sustain like 1.3 G's um, if it's a nice, easy corner. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's quite a rush. Dude. So it was a great time. Uh, I took him and his friend out. This is my fastest run. I'm alone in the car here. Uh, and you can see it's at the end of the day, and I've gotten a lot better at car placement and keeping my car close to the cones. Uh, we're running just our alignment that we've run all this season, which is 1 16th inch toe out, about an eighth 
inch toe in. Um, and then our sway bars are set front for the softest and rear at a middle. And this was a new change and it felt a lot better. I was getting more rotation out of it. We set the shocks up with the front being a little softer than the rear. Um, and then we were able to get a lot more rotation out of it. When we got home, we decided to put a vent in our hood, help with cooling. Uh, there was also a dent there from when the motor mounts gave out and the engine hit it. And ultimately, I think these track spec hood louvers for an E36 turned out really good on my non-M E46. The next event was track night in America at PIR. This track's about 60 miles away from me, cruised up. It was a fair amount of people, but because it was my first track event, I ran in the novice group um, and got a decent amount of traffic. But ultimately, it was a great time and I got to learn the track. I have a lot more room to go. And I look forward to the next events I get to go out there. With the car set up, exactly the same as before it turned out really well it was really predictable it understeers at limit but not egregiously i was severely lacking horsepower i on the straights it was hard to pass people unless they let off um, i just wasn't able to keep up with that top speed however i was able to be one of the faster in the novice group and it was a ton of fun. You can check out my lines and you can see how I apex a little late or early. Um, and it was really hard to, to figure out what the racing line was without an instructor in the vehicle. I think the next time I go back after watching some spec E46 and other PIR track day uh, footage, I'll be able to put down a much better time. Here's my best lap of the day. It was the last session and my first lap. There was no traffic because I was the first car out and I was able to put down a 138, which is a really okay time for me. 
Uh, I think next time I could shave a couple seconds off and I'm really looking to get down to the 130 mark and if I just carry more speed into corners and with a new car setup, um, new alignment, I think I'll be able to do that and really, you know, shave seconds off my time, especially now that I know the track and I have a better feel for it. Somewhere in my last session, not on this lap, I shredded my air conditioning belt and then I lost power momentarily and was really confused. I came back in, pitted, couldn't quite figure it out and it turned out to be my alternator starting to go out on me. On the way to the next autocross, I died and my, alter or my alternator died on the side of the road. My wife was able to come pick me up heroic fix it, run me to auto car stores, and I get in grid for the autocross just in time for my afternoon session. And then my lower my lower radiator hose goes out and I hose down all of grid and end up taking the trip home on the tow truck. So off camera, we redid the entire cooling system because that's what you do with BMWs. And we decided to shake it down uh, by cruising 100 miles to the next autocross, which was about a weekend or two away. All right, it's 6 a.m. We are cruising through the beautiful Oregon countryside, going up to Hoodoo, which is in the Cascade mountain ranges. Uh, last autocross, on the way out, we lost an alternator, and then in grid, we lost all of our coolant. Uh, I'm hoping we can make it there without any drama, and then make it the 100 miles or so back home. It is a beautiful morning, uh, nice overpass right now, but we are just getting out of Salem and passing Staten, so I will keep you posted. Hopefully we have no issues. We can go up, we can run, place well, uh, and then cruise on home. All right, we're out here on the morning runs. We've had a little bit of a slow start. Uh, right now they're clearing the course. They just got a car who lost a brake caliper uh, clear of the course. Um, sounds like the time to beat is about a one, uh, 48 second, which is really fast for how much ground we're covering. 
we, uh, we're gonna see if we cannot be one of these cars that break down. So this is my first run. Uh, I missed some gates. I blow some apexes. Just check it out. Listen to my commentary. So I heated my tires up on that run and it worked out well. And then this was my final and best run. You can see I went a uh, different option through the slalom, trying to optimize for speed off the start and then also setting myself up for this brake zone at the expense of a tighter turn up top. Worked out well. I keep hitting rev limiter here. So I'm on limiter and it's not worth it to shift. I feel like I need to just raise my RPM a little bit with the wired oil pump nut I have. I can get away with it, taking it from 65,000 to maybe 77,000 RPM. The event turned out great. I did not run every run because my car started acting up. It lost power again. It turned out to be the alternator one more time, which I just took and warrantied out at the O'Reilly's, um, which is a little frustrating. I'm wondering if I'm getting water in it uh, because of my hood vent and that is causing it, or if it's just bad alternators from the parts store. Until next time.